with Lisa Laflamme. Good evening. The thread pulling this entire country together tonight looks a lot like a lineup. Thousands and thousands of Canadians are united in one goal, in pointed pursuit of a shot at protection. 39 people lost their lives today and more than 7,900 tested positive. Alberta now has the highest number of active cases in the country at more than 24,000 and it's still not clear if they've hit the peak. CTV's Alberta Bureau Chief Bill Fortier on the vaccine rush and the reason why. Alberta millennials are answering the call to get a vaccine by making calls. It's uh, absolutely crazy right now. We're just getting absolutely bombarded with phone calls. Others waited in an online queue. By mid-afternoon, more than 100,000 vaccine appointments had been booked. The rush began at 8 a.m. when anyone 30 or turning 30 this year became eligible. So I was super pumped that it came last minute that we could sign up for it. No, I'm, I'm getting vaccinated Saturday. Justin Giesbrecht was initially unsure about the shot, but last week he lost his cousin, who was more like a brother. Families say Ron Giesbrecht died from COVID alone at home just days after he became sick with what he thought was a cold. It's just sad, you know, the guy was full of life. He was known as Pooh Bear and Captain Ron, lovable, fun, and only 43 years old. Every time you come around, Ron, and you were sad, you were no longer sad. <laughs> Put it that way. He's just loved life. And the family struggle continues. Ron's younger brother is still in hospital, also battling COVID. In Alberta, the human cost of the pandemic is climbing. We don't yet know if we have hit the peak of new cases. Our provincial R value of 1.12 last week tells us cases are continuing to grow. Yesterday, the Prime Minister offered help. The Premier declined. His press secretary saying in a statement, Premier Kenny said while federal assistance is not currently required in Alberta, he expressed gratitude for the Prime Minister's offer. So we have some work Alberta's opposition leader says there are areas the province could use Ottawa's help, including paid sick leave. Folks are still at work and, and we have the highest number of people uh, in the country who are not covered by sick leave. More than 1.73 million doses have now gone out in Alberta and Monday is the day many have been waiting for. The shot opens up to anyone 12 and up. Bill Fortier, CTV News, Edmonton. And as Bill mentioned, Ron Giesbrecht, only 43, died at home. This is something happening more and more. Exact numbers are hard to find, but Ontario spelled it out. During the month of April, were 29 uh, people in, in, in the um, the, the south central area of Ontario and uh, since uh, over the days in May we have seen seven more people tragically die in similar circumstances at home. Few numbers could better illustrate the urgency of Ontario's vaccination campaign. CTV's Marilla Fernandez on its new pace and new face.